Okay, I think that's it. Hey Google, turn off Angela's office. Hey Google, turn off Angela's office. Got it, turning off Angela's office. Close for today. and we're gonna we just turn the lights off in our yeah. business and have a, have a little bit of time off for Memorial Day weekend. Angel, it is Memorial Day weekend and I flipped the camera around you've been watching this dry we turned the lights off in our store um, and we uh, we thought we would just go ahead and share our numbers for the week we've been talking a lot about by the way again thank you for all the all the views and the thumbs up and some private messages we've we've got on the last video about uh, uh, might be our last YouTube video and um, you know what why we're doing the insurance business it was an overwhelming success so if you haven't seen that go back and watch I'll try to put it up here in the corner but really just sharing our, our, our thoughts with you about where we're at in the business right now and where we're at with this YouTube channel but uh, in that spirit uh, we wanted to just kind of again get back with you and we had a team call last night which we really uh, shared some some you know some tough conversations Angel, about you know this is a business at the end of the day you're gonna have to make sacrifices to be successful in this business and you know it's it's a it's an it's absolutely has been always will be a numbers business the numbers can't beat you you can't beat the numbers you're gonna have to show up you're gonna make a sacrifice to succeed in this business and if you're going to be in one day and out for two weeks and back in again, save your money, go do something else. That's why they have jobs. You know, um, go get a job. Uh, because, again, being in business for yourself is difficult. It's tough. Uh, you're going to have to earn the right to be the, the kind of business owner that, uh, that says yes to days off. Says yes to, to, uh, to being able to go home and take care of a sick child or... Or uh, you know, a family member or whatever, you're gonna have to make sacrifices early on. We've been we've worked we've showed up and worked this business for years, sick with COVID, uh, whatever it took. Um, you know, again, it, 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 you're in business for yourself, and some people give themselves permission to take time off from their own business because they can. And, and that's not a good thing. You used to say all the time, be careful what you say no to. Um, because you have the, just because you can doesn't mean you should. You, you're going to have to earn the right to have that business where you build an, a, a, a good renewable, uh, renewal income stream. You build a good passive income stream. And you, ha and you have the right to take off personal production. At the end of the day, you got to get your numbers in. And Angel, this week, you know, we generally work, like I said before, being totally transparent and honest, you know, we'd like to work Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday uh, in personal production. And, uh, and this week, uh, we worked 
six days because we yeah. didn't get it done Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. And getting it done, not getting it done, is not an option. No, excuse me, I'm tired. <laughs> yeah. No. Um, so we typically we try and but see sometimes I'm even hesitant to go through this because I think that sometimes people hear this and they go okay well that's a good schedule people ask well what, what schedule do you work what's your effective schedule well our effective schedule has only been developed after having spent years of of working a schedule where we didn't have these perks. You know, it's just like, I was just thinking, um, there's a lot of examples, but I was just thinking about this a minute ago. Uh, when you have a job, like a, a traditional job, you accumulate like sick days, you accumulate vacation days, you accumulate time off. You know, my, um, my dad was a cop. He, he accumulated over the course of, of years. You know, he would get two weeks off vacation time and then he'd have, you know, build up some sick time. So that might be another two weeks. So, you know, that, that was the time that he had built up. But when he started, you know, you get like three days of sick leave, like three days, That's like the whole point. year, yeah. not three days every week making... or three days a month yeah. or three days, you know, three days, however many times you need it. You get three days. And so what it forced people to do was to be more um, suspect of when they wanted to use that time. Have you ever heard somebody, or maybe you're the person who has done this, who has said, uh, oh, I'm, I'm, oh God, I'm, I'm sick, I, I just don't feel good. And somebody will say, well, stay home, you have sick time, don't you know? No, I'm saving my sick time yeah. so I can use it for my vacation. Yeah. Right? Um, and what happens if you, you know, you accumulate a lot of this time and sometimes you lose it. Sometimes you have to start all over. Yeah. So. Yeah, but here's the thing. Uh, you're probably going to mention this. So I don't want to steal your thunder, but um, what happens the longer you were that corporation? You get more and more. More and more sick time, right? Yeah. And, and if you approach that. If you had that attitude towards your own business and took less sick time on the front end, and as you earned more sick time, right. you it gave yourself the ability to it take that. You would be more successful, have a better, have more yep. chance of success in your business uh, than you than, than most people are going to do right now. I find it very shocking, actually, and because you know, Angela, you and I have had this mindset for a long time. Because we've been in business owners, we've been business owners at, in and outside the insurance industry. We've ran brick and mortar businesses, and we knew, you know, sicker than dog, you know, we were we had to be in our warehouse running the screen printing machines and burning machines all night long through the entire weekend, sicker than a dog. Because if we don't do it, it won't get done, There's and we won't get it. paid, and we can't pay our bills and feed our families. If it's going to be, it's up to me. That we, we learned that very early on in business, which we took to the insurance industry. So this is not uh, foreign to us. It's, I think I find it be, to be foreign to a lot of people that, that have been employees all their life and never business owners. Right. If you don't, and I, you know, I'm, I'm not, I am not one, just like I told my clients this morning, I am not the sugar-coated girl. I'm really not. I think sometimes... I mean, I'm a very compassionate person, but I'm not the sugar-coated girl. And we... Well, good sugar-coated. So going to do to anybody. All, you, all that's going to do is... All he's going to do is convince people that he can get in this business. They can be very, very part-time or even spare time. And they can buy leads and succeed. You won't. It won't happen for you or anybody else. This is a business. It's, it's not a difficult business, but all businesses are tough. Especially when you're first starting out. Right. And I don't understand... I, I just, I guess I just don't understand the mentality because we have been so, like, it's been so long since I had the, since I was in that job, uh, setting yeah. where I hated a job. Yes. That's but, why, that's where he's why I've been successful in business because I hated a job. I would do anything to not have a boss that I had to ask permission to, to take a day off, Angela. That, that, that 
I find that that you know how I'm motivated. I'm I, most I'm I'm, an, I'm a person who gets motivated by negative stuff. Right. Uh, you tell me I've got to go to a job and show up eight to five and ask ask another man if I can take time off to go home with my kids. Uh, I'll I'll walk on hot coals before I go get a job. Right. But here's the problem: is that people hear that. And then their mentality is, well, then in this business, I should be able to go home and do that and be with my kids or be sick or be on vacation or be whatever anytime I want. No, because you haven't earned it you haven't yet. Earned you right. still have to earn it. Yeah. You know, you still have to, you still have to, uh, you know, in this business, I guess here's where the, here's where the reality is. Here's the flip side of it. Uh, if I don't feel good one particular morning, Right? If I, if I just don't feel good, if I'm tired, if I, whatever, um, I might be able to sleep an extra half hour, but I know that I'm going to probably work an extra hour to, in the evening. I'm, I'm going to have to make up the time in my business. So it isn't that just because I don't want somebody else to tell me when I can take time off or when I get to be home with my kids or I don't want someone else to tell me that. If someone's going to tell me that I can't take time off, it's going to be me. Yeah. But if yeah. I'm going to if I'm going to have to make a judgment call whether or not I need to spend the time in my business to get the job done or I'm going to go and flits around all day long, I'm going to be the one who's going to make that call. I'm going to be the one that says, "You know what, Angela? Self, you just can't do that today." No, because you haven't earned it. And, and, earned and that it. goes on a week-to-week -week basis. We hold right. ourselves accountable uh, to a certain level of personal production. So right. we're leading our team from the front. We put the unit. We don't ask them to do something we're not willing to do ourselves. That's the difference between a recruiter and a business partner. Right? I'm not looking to recruit a bunch of people to get them to do something I'm not willing to do. No. We're going to put our uniform on. We have standards. You know, we're not looking to be, you know, the best producers either. You know, because we got other responsibilities. First of all, to our for, uh, to our family, to our agents. But we, our goal is, and I said this before, ten thousand bucks a week. We got to put up ten thousand bucks a week, forty thousand bucks a month. Issue paid thirty thousand. That's our standard for personal production, and that's the point, right? Is that we generally can do that in three, maybe four days. It didn't happen this week. It's vacation, graduation week, a lot going on, very difficult to get people on the phone. We, you, hammered it out all week to try, just to try to get our appointments. Our goal is to get 24, we got 15. The good news is, is that you, you we ended up, ended up being okay on the APV. We didn't quite make 10, but uh, we got, our, we got, we got, uh, we got, we got, we got close. But we didn't quit, and we worked six days instead of four, three uh -huh. or four. And this morning was 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 the icing on the cake. Yeah, we, I mean, we had 15 appointments. Wrote, crap, what did I say? Five yeah. apps. Yeah. Close to uh, $9,800 in, in annual premium volume. And it wasn't easy. It and was it a dog easy. fight every it was a single day. Dog fight. And, and there we, are days when even you say, you'll say, we have to have six a day. We have to have six yeah. appointments a day. We have to have 24. It. And, you know, I just, I, I literally could not see a way there. No. We were texting. We were dialing some days. <laughs> but we didn't quit. You didn't no. quit. We kept pushing. We kept, re we refused to take what life was willing to give us. Because life is only going to give you what you're willing to accept. And we refuse to accept that we're going to fail this week. Because we have a commitment. Not just to ourselves. To our team. And to our and to, and to our friends. To, to do everything we can to get it done. It took six days. And you know, we're no different from you. No different. I mean, we had... Uh... I'm wearing short pants and flip flops. We're no different. We go out and get it, we get it every morning, put our clothes on, we go to work. Yeah, in so, our own business. I'm still hauling around my, my COVID-15, so... <laughs> I'm wearing, I'm not wearing shorts, I'm wearing Here's the things. thing, I, I want you to want to say this, and I want you to share your numbers because we're getting close to the, we had to take many of the I did, I shared them. Oh, you did, okay. <laughs> Here's the bottom line, is that I asked the team last night, you know, you and I, we had, we had, we had a embroidery and screen printing business, yeah. and we had the keys to the shop. 10,000 square foot warehouse, we had to be there to open the doors so where our employees can get in, we can run the machines and get, get the, you know. Here's the thing, if you own a gas station, you're a business for yourself. You gotta cash flow that business or you're out of business. Yep. Sorry about that. If you own a gas station and you and, and you and you were responsible for opening that gas station, 
so you can sell your gas, your cigarettes, your gum, your whatever it is, right? And you got sick. COVID, I don't care what it is, right? And would you honestly not go open the gas station? You have fixed cost. Do you want to know what the first step to a business um, uh, going out of business is? Think about your own, like whether you live in a hometown or a small town or a big town. The businesses that go out of business, and people even have this as like their first thought, is what? When you start to see a paper handwritten sign in the door that says, uh, closed today. Yeah, I like the one that says, gone for, uh, closed for remodeling. Right? Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, when you start seeing a business that every other day they're closed for this or closed yeah. for that or closed for this or closed for that, you say, okay, I, I, I'm not going to keep going to that business because it's unpredictable, Right? Because we don't, well, you never know when they're going to be open. Yeah. Okay, that's, that's how, that's what you're doing to your business. Yeah. Every Not time you stick a paper in the door, in the window that says, you know, we'll be back in five minutes, five hours later. Yeah. You know, yesterday we had. Out uh, sick. Yesterday we had, um, it, it was kind of a, it was kind of a disaster at the house yesterday because they were installing a new air conditioning. They were doing work Which in all they had the no vents with no air conditioning. <laughs> and so they were doing work in all the vents of the house and there are a lot of vents. It was like 37 vents. 30, yeah. And so 37. it was just, uh, it was loud and noisy and hot and sweaty and, ugh, right? And we were, had to be up early because the guys were there early. And by the time the day started to wrap up, we were, like, we were tired. It was yeah. a long day. Yeah. And then we were running appointments in the afternoon. We kept getting, I kept getting either no-showed or, oh, I forgot or I'm not interested or whatever it is. And my very last appointment of the day, uh, they had had dinner and then it was getting late and they just, they were tired. They decided to get in bed and go to sleep. So when I called, they were really in bed. And the last thing I wanted to do this morning was get up and run that appointment because we rescheduled it for this morning. It was the last thing I wanted but to do. But that was the difference maker for the week. But that was, like I told myself, you know what? It's always in the moments where you talk yourself out of it that you should have talked yourself into it. Yeah. And so uh, I talked myself into it and I thought, okay, worst case scenario, I'll go back and finish my coffee in 10 minutes, right? right. And it ended up being almost a two-hour appointment. Actually, it was about a little over an hour and a half, I guess. It was quite a long appointment. Yeah, it was long. But it was two applications, and there was a but lot you of events. But you, had, you did what you had to do to hit our goals and, and, and to run our business. And it we was $3,700. Yeah. yeah. And now, we can, now, you, now you're going to reward yourself, and we're going to reward ourselves by taking a little time off for the Memorial Weekend. We'll be back at it uh, probably on Monday, probably on Memorial Day, so we can, so we have booked up for Tuesday. You know? I was thinking about it, like... So we're out now. We have to go to the vet. The vet with Minnie. Big, big fun on a Saturday. But I thought, gosh, like Saturday feels so much better when you've already. You did what you gotta do. I mean, it's, I it's know. guiltless. We we, yeah. we know that we did what it we, is guiltless. we did everything. We left everything on the table. Yeah. You know, uh, this week, and we pulled it out. Um, you know, we didn't, we we were a couple hundred bucks short of our goal, but we again we gave we felt like we gave everything we had to give this week we didn't we didn't give up we didn't take what life was willing to give us we went out and said no no we're gonna we're gonna we're, if we had to do it for six days seven days we're gonna keep fighting we're gonna we, if we're gonna go down we're gonna go down swinging yep. and that's my point guys you're in business for yourself be careful what you say no to right the the, the you know or even say, say yes to the uh the you know the birthday parties or the the, the you know civic clubs or the church clubs or all these things that you that come up you gotta be willing to say no, to in order in order to be successful in, in business because your business needs you to show up every single day. Ring the cash register, ring up that gas, ring up that you know six pack of beer, cigarettes, whatever it is. Put money in the register, or you're soon going to be out of business. Going back to the gas station, you know you might be able to get away with that one day, but two days and three days and four days and five days go by. Five days, six, seven days with a, with a business that has no cash flow. It's bankruptcy. You're going to be out of business, and you're going to lose this, the, the business, the, the gas station, right? And that's the point. You know, you don't have to buy leads to succeed in this business. You know, if you're just getting started out, uh, you know, I, here, do what I did when I first started out. I never put my head on a pillow one day early on. 
until I talk to somebody about the product that I sold, which is life insurance. Everybody needs what we have. Very few people have enough, or if any, any at all. You should be talking to those people every single day. So if you're just starting out, or you're just trying to get back involved, or you're struggling or whatever, or you need a lead budget, you don't have one, you should be talking to everybody you come in contact with about living benefits. Not life insurance, or actually death insurance. Death insurance is death insurance you can only do when you only use when you die. Talk to them about the new kind of life insurance, which is living benefits. Talk to everybody you run into. Ask them if they have a family, if they're married, whatever. And never put your head on a pillow until you've ran, you've you've gone to your do the, the business like we did just at the beginning of this video. We turned the lights off, but you should be turning the lights on. Run your business. Talk to someone about your product before you go out and celebrate or reward yourself by saying yes because you're a business owner. I'm taking the day off or I'm taking the afternoon off or I'm taking Memorial Day off. That's the point of this whole conversation. So hope that uh, makes sense to you. Angela, any, any final thoughts? Nope. I'm trying to figure out where we're going to go have lunch. She's trying to figure out where we're going to go have lunch. See, it's great. We, we, yeah. we now can enjoy the we weekend. Yeah. We got our numbers in. Guilt free. Guilt free. We're going to go out. We can we and not just that, you know we're 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 proud of ourselves I guess without being prideful yeah. that that you know that we we did you know that, that now three weeks in a row we we, we set a goal and we hit that goal and we, <laughs> it was a little touch and go this week it was a little touch and go <laughs> and we and we actually thought about giving up <laughs> but the point is is that we didn't and it's okay to think about it but you gotta say no you gotta say no I'm I'm, I'm gonna stay in the game I'm gonna give everything I got to give. And if it doesn't happen, I'm, I'm, I'm okay with that. But I'm going to give it all. The reverse of that would be is trying to go out and have an enjoyable weekend and celebrate more Memorial Day when we knew that we quit on Wednesday or quit on Thursday and just gave up. That that is a that is a that is not a good thing to do and doesn't it's not a good feel thing to do. So anyway, um, appreciate you. Uh, do me a favor if you haven't already done so, subscribe to the channel. Thank you for your support on the last couple of videos that I put up, especially the one I, I mentioned. Um, and smash means, the bell so you means get like, notifications. Yeah, smash the bell so you get notifications. And we'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye. Say bye, actually. Bye. <laughs> see you.